Welcome to another episode of Pollitz Projects and in this one we're not doing anything with the Daimler because the Daimler isn't even here. The Daimler has gone to a body shop, there will be a video on that soon. So the Daimler is absent. What about the Mercedes? Have I done anything with that? No! Um, since last video all I've done is drive it but there are plans afoot for that. And obviously with these two cars and of course the Vitesse in the garage, there's a video coming on that soon as well. Um, you know, that means I've got a lot to do. It's three cars, three cars to work on. So what I've done is the most logical thing, the sensible thing, the right thing. I've bought another car. Why car? Why must everything be difficult? And this is the car I have bought, a 2002 Volkswagen Beetle 2 litre 8 valve, 127,000 miles. Every panel's got a scratch on it, the wipers don't work, the interior looks like something died in it. But it was cheap, like the budgie. It was £750. And fundamentally, it had the cam belt done and the water pump done in March of this year. It was local, it was delivered, and that was enough for me. So the guy brought it around, Danny, thank you very much. Um, we had a little bit of a haggle because the interior was a little bit worse than I was anticipating and uh, we shook hands yeah at 750 quid what are the plans with it I don't know really um, I think I'm going to try and make it quote unquote cool cool is of course somewhat subjective but you know we can change the wheels we can throw some coilovers on it it's it's a golf mark 4 underneath so coilovers are about four quid wheel options are plentiful in fact I may have already agreed to buy a set of wheels but I'm not telling you what they are until I've actually got them. Um, there are some issues with it. The paint has gone on the back in places. The bonnet needs paint. The front needs paint. The wing needs paint. A lot of paint, basically, a lot of paint. Also needs a damn good clean, but I like it. It's funny, because I put this on Twitter and it's amusing to me how divisive these cars are. People being like downright offended at the car that I've bought for myself with my money. Um, you know, people reacting like I've come around their house and had a little wee in their kettle or something. People are strange, but I like it. It's got, it's got potential. Everything that needs doing to it is visual. Mechanically, it's, it's fine. Um, it, the only mechanical thing it really needs is it could do with um, a rocker gasket because it does, look, does seem to be weeping oil from the top of the engine when you take the cover off, um, as in the big plastic cover. But yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a cheeky little thing. I think I can make the interior really special. Um, I've already got rid of some of the soft touch plastics on uh, some of the bits with a bit of isopropyl alcohol, but I like it. So that's the outside of it. You know, it's got a bent wheel. Um, it's scratched to hell, but it's a nice color. It's Colorado red, so that's nice. Uh, that's that's another reason why I bought it. I quite like the colour. You don't often see them in this uh, in this hue. Um, but yeah, I think I think we can have some fun with this, some cheap fun, and then I'll probably send it down the road. So if you uh, would like to buy an overpriced Beetle with some silly wheels on it and the world's cheapest coilovers, drop me a line in the comments. Um, I've had a look underneath it. It is solid, but we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. I'll jack it up again and show you what I've observed. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at the interior though, because that bit is uh, special. So we'll cut to my phone for that, because I can't be wielding a DSLR in the interior. So uh, yeah, to the phone, to the innards. Here we are then inside the Beetle now. This is phone cam, so sorry if the sound changes a little bit. I can't connect my road to my phone, or maybe I can. I don't know, but either way, we're using the phone microphone. So here we are, 127,270 miles, 2727. Um, and yeah, it, it runs, it drives, it uh, starts up quite happily. I'll just turn the stereo down so we don't get copyright issues. Um, the wipers don't work, which was another reason I got it a little bit cheaper. So when I turn the ignition back on, they try and do something. But Yeah, I don't know what's happening there, so that needs having a look at. Um, the dash is in bits because I've, sta I've started taking it apart because I'm going to 
do stuff with these plastics because they've all got that soft touch nonsense on them. Same goes with that. Need to replace that vent because I've got no wheel. Um, the CD player works, that's nice. Need a blanking plate for that, which I've ordered. It doesn't have the vase. Like, I can't remember the German for it, but it doesn't have that. So I might put a Bic Biro in there or maybe a 10 mil spanner. Something uh, applicable. Got the little computer up there. I say computer, little screen with the clock and the temperature. Headlining's knackered, which is annoying, but nothing I can't sort. I've done it on the streetwise before, so I'll do it on this. We might go for black, I don't know. Um, glove box doesn't work because the thing's broken, so you have to do it in kit form. Oh, no, that just makes it go for twine. Ah! There we go. Pretty grim in there. Uh, musical though. Sounds twangy. Door cards have gone. All these doors are also all that awful soft plastic stuff. I did get it off there though. So that's what it looks like after. And that horror is what it looks like before. Um, yeah, it's all scratched up. It's all, it's all visual stuff. It's all aesthetic. You know, like the, the armrest isn't too... <laughs> isn't too brilliant. You know, it's got no catch on it. So we might have to visit a scrapyard in the near future. Clean all this up. Still got soft plastics on it. I hate that stuff. Not, not, not anything of major concern, really. Like I say, it's just... Just visual things. I've had a doggo in the back at some point. I've got enough hairs there to make my own doggo. So maybe that could be a side hustle on the channel. Pull its genetics or something. And we'll see if we can make a little Jack Russell. Or, you know, I'll just hoover it out. Probably that. Um, I have got that piece. I've taken it off and painted it. Because that'll make all the difference. But yeah, I, I like it. I think there's... I think there's potential. We can redo the door cards, repaint everything, recover bits. I've got ideas for the dash about recovering those panels, um, maybe in some sort of flocked material or Alcantara-esque eBay special. You know, a bit of a learn by doing exercise, really. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Right, let's have a look in the boot. Here's the boot then. It's got the six disc multi-changer for the fat beats. Parcel shelf is uh, broken, so I need to order a new one of those. It's got a little 12 volt though, so I can put an ice box in there with some uh, zesty beverages on chill maybe. More of the doggy doggy back seats. Um, it's got bits in it, you know, like first aid kit and spare wheel and all that, but a bit minging up there, a bit of a, a, bit of a clean needed. That's why we're sponsored by uh, Nielsen's Heritage range of uh, detailing products. This was the paint I was telling you about. Not very good at all. All flaking off there. But we can we can sort. We can rebuild. I told you potential. That's why we buy these things. Slam that boot, Chris. Oh, poor Mercedes, feeling so neglected. And then we have the Anjun, 2 litres and 115 brake horsepower of Fury. It does have a dipstick. I've taken it out so I can take this off. He says, fighting with it one handed while trying to film. So let's put that there neatly. So, yeah, if you look in there, you can see there's a lot of oil, but I think that's probably just the rocker gasket. Probably, maybe. Looks like a bit of a faff. I'm gonna have to take that manifold off to get to it, but that's not a problem. You know, it's a bit dirty, it's a bit old, but it's all there. It's all present and correct. It runs quite happily, starts on the button. What more can you want? And again, it's nothing a bit of uh, cleaning product and a bit of time can't sort out. I might do a little video on how to detail your your engine. Change that rocket cover gasket as well, so I'll get that ordered and then we'll do a little video on that because I think this will come around quite nicely. 
you know, paint these brackets up, paint that up, get a bit of uh, wire brush action on the go. I think that'll smart up nicely. Because if you're going to have your manifold coming through your engine cover, you've got to wear, you've got to give it the little buffy buffy shiny shiny. That's a industry technical term for you there. And finally we have the bit everyone wants to see, which is underneath. Now, I know a lot of you watch Matt at Furious Driving and he had some significant rot problems with his Beetle, so I was scared with this one. Um, that bend there wasn't me. I've put the jack there because that is the jacking point, but somebody's done it wrong in the past. I didn't bend that. I didn't bend that. But having said that, find me a Beetle that's got straight sills on it. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I will bend that lip back straight um, but yeah I swear to god that wasn't me I wouldn't do that but yeah it's pretty solid under here I've had I've not taken anything off yet but you can get around there in there and it's all solid there's no holes or anything I've had the inspection camera in there there's nothing too scary to report and the same can be said under here so you can get round the back with your, with your digits and with the inspection camera and there's no holes there. It's all pretty solid. In fact, all four is pretty solid. So on the whole, quite happy with that. Quite happy indeed. Now before we go into anything else on the car, it's worth talking about our sponsor, which is of course Nielsen with their heritage range of consumer detailing products and in this one I'm going to be showing you the wheel cleaner now these wheels obviously haven't been cleaned for a long time they are fairly knackered but there's a lot of brake dust so let me show you how this works it's not a fallout remover so it's not going to turn purple this is just designed specifically to clean your wheels and offer them a bit of protection so you spray that on Bedded in stuff, you might need to give it a couple of goes, but nine times out of ten, this wheel cleaner will do the trick. That's that on, so we just rinse it off. Obviously, you do this with a hose pipe, not a uh, pressure bottle but I don't have a hose pipe at the front of my house yet. I will soon, I promise. What's that? So there we go then, that is your introduction to Doug the Bug, look at the number plate. It has to be Doug the Bug, how could it be anything else? I know I didn't do any spannering in that, but it's an introduction to the car. To, uh, yeah, to familiarize you with this new, hopefully exciting project. Um, I'm gonna order some bits for it today. So in the next video, we will fit some bits, we'll do some stuff to the interior predominantly, make it a bit nicer in there. And then uh, we'll take it for a little drive, see if there's anything else that comes up. I've had a little test drive in it, but I've not done any major miles in it um, and then yeah it'll roll from there but something a bit different I know it's not your typical German saloon or, or executive saloon as per the rest of my fleet like the Rover and the Daimler and the Mercedes but I like these I've always liked these I think they're I think they're cute I think they're quite cheeky I think they've got a fun shape and I think they've got bags of potential to be changed and to be tweaked and to be turned into something new so that's hopefully what we will do in the coming episodes. Uh, next video will be on the Daimler probably, followed by the Mercedes and then back to Doug. But as ever, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please consider doing so and click the bell and stuff. I guess that helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you are a patron, you'll see your name in the credits at the end. Thank you for watching.
I was just about to call it a day and I thought, let's check those roof channels because Matt over at Furious Driving, he had some serious rot going on in the roof and yeah, it seems, seems my Beetle's no different. Oh Doug, oh Dougie Dougie Doug. Bit of bubble in there, bit in the channel there. Oh Doug, we haven't even looked at the other side yet. We can repair, we can rebuild, we can protect, we can focus. So naturally I had to take the driver's side trim off. This doesn't look so bad on this side. You're seeing it for the first time. Oh no, the driver's side's mint! Driver's side's absolutely perfecto. To such an extent I'm going to put that trim back in. Well, I'll clean that out and then dab a bit of uh, rust converter in there and then I'll put the trim back in. I'll just use a, a trim removal tool to get that bit of trim out. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, it's dented the roof. What is this roof made out of? Baker foil. There was no pressure on that at all. Oh. Still doesn't matter, cheap car, bad bad bad. Treated all that with uh, hammerite crust, so that should convert it a little bit. And we'll give it another clean out, another treat, and another protect. And then pop the trim back in, and uh, yeah, pretend like we didn't see any of that. Because ignorance, dear viewer, is bliss. Unless, of course, you buy a knackered old beetle. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for watching this little end bit that I uh, didn't know I was going to film, and I will see you in the next one. Why, car? Why must everything be difficult? <laughs>